Hey everyone, it's Monica here and I am just making dinner and thought I would take a few minutes to share with you what I am making. So today I'm making fish and chips, but this is pretty non-traditional fish and chips. And basically what I have done is I have taken some pieces of fish, just some white fish, um, haddock, cod, um, a sole would probably even work, white fish, and I have cut it up into fairly small pieces. You wouldn't necessarily need to make them this small, but um, I have little kids, so they're almost sort of bite-sized. They're almost like fish nuggets. And what I did, and this is the part that I found really cool. Um, I adapted this uh, recipe, and so it's not my original recipe, but what I have done is taken our Epicure Lemon Dilly, which if you know Epicure, you know that this stuff is the best stuff in the world, um, which you can make fresh tzatziki with it in like a minute or two. Um, what I did was I mixed it up as a dip with some yogurt and uh, some um, mayonnaise. You could use sour cream if you prefer. I just have sour cream and yogurt. I think it's just a touch healthier. Uh, you could, of course, do this as well with a non-dairy version of yogurt and uh, mayo. And so what I did was I actually slathered the fish with, the, um, with this and then used that to stick on my crust. Now we're, um, we avoid wheat here as much as possible. And so what I've actually used this time to crust, uh, to make the crust on the fish, uh, obviously it's not a batter. I'm not gonna deep fry these, they're going in the oven. But I have used crushed up potato chips. How cool is that? Um, I have little kids, so I probably wouldn't do this for them, but it could be really even um, at a whole other level of flavor if you use salt and vinegar flavor. I just use some low sodium ones. Um, threw them in the blender for about 10 seconds and voila, so quick and super easy. Um, so that's gonna go in the oven and bake. And I just wanted to show you, this is actually um, a cookie sheet that fits in our small, um, not a cookie sheet, a what, you know, it's a rack to dry, to, <laughs> to cool your, um, to cool your baking so uh, whatever that's called which has completely escaped me um, and it fits into our small um, uh, baking sheets and so two of them actually fit perfectly into our large baking sheet these come in a pack of two they're super clever because now what happens is the, the air can go underneath so both sides are gonna get crispy in the oven so I'm not deep frying this and uh, so that's gonna be a healthier option although <laughs> crusted in potato chips maybe will take a uh, counterbalance of that healthier version and then for fries, what I'm doing is making polenta fries. So I've just taken one of those big cannons of polenta that you can see um, often in the Italian section in your grocery store and cut them into French fry shapes. So they're kind of, a, they're not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. And I have just drizzled a tiny little bit of olive oil on there and thrown on some seasoning. And I'm going to fry, shallow fry these in a wok. So I have put on there our roast garlic. You could do chipotle, which would be really nice on there too. Um, and I used our herb garlic sea salt blend. So this has also got a touch of garlic in it, but a few other herbs that really create some really nice flavor. Um, and that comes as a grinder. You can also purchase refills for it, which obviously I'm in need of soon. Um, and then I am going to also throw on, just before I put them into the, fry, into the wok to fry, shallow fry, um, I am putting on our turmeric black pepper. So I use the turmeric version, not so much for the flavor of turmeric. I don't find you really taste their strong flavor of turmeric, but because turmeric's got some great anti-inflammatory properties and when you mix it with pepper, the cursamen, I wanna say, in the pepper uh, activates the uh, anti-inflammatory properties in the turmeric. So that is what I'm making tonight. I've got my bowl of polenta fries. I have my lovely looking so far going in the oven um, fish battered up with a crust of potato chips and that has been stuck on by slathering on some of our lemon dilly mix so that's going to give all those lovely flavors I'm also going to steam up some peas I will plate it up and I will show you what it looks like when it's done